You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2021. Today is also the feast day of another early Christian martyr, St. Agatha. Now, all week we have been journeying with Christ from Mount Tabor, where the transfiguration occurred, all the way down through Jericho, through Bethany, to Jerusalem eventually. Yesterday, we saw Jesus arrive in Bethany, and he spoke to his friend Martha. Now, Martha's brother, Lazarus, has been dead for three days at this point when Jesus arrives. Jesus is deeply sad that his friend had to suffer and die, and he weeps. But then he tells Martha something very interesting. Martha, of course, knows that Jesus is the Messiah, that Lazarus will be raised on the last day. And Jesus says this is true, but he also says, I am the resurrection and the life. And remember, in the Greek, he is using the word for life. That means the divine life, the spirit within us that we know will go on past the time when our body dies, that there will be something about us that continues to live on. And Christ says that he is that Now, of course, Martha believes she makes one of the most profound statements of faith that we hear in the gospel to this point. She says, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the son of God. Now, what does Jesus do next? Do you know this story? Well, Jesus goes to the place where they have buried Lazarus. They have a tomb carved into a stone that he is in there, but there is a large rock across the entrance Jesus calls the people there and orders them to remove the stone. At first they say no, because Lazarus' body has been in there for three days. And if you can imagine, this is a hot climate. A dead body for three days would stink. And they tell him, no, we're not going to do that. It would stink. But Christ insists, and they do. And what happens? Well, Jesus shouts, Lazarus, come out. And then to everyone's amazement, Lazarus, still wrapped in the linens that had been wrapped around him after he died, stumbles out of his own grave. Jesus commands that he be untied. But this is remarkable. There are a couple times throughout the gospel where Jesus raises people from the dead. He raises a little girl, He raises a little boy and he raises Lazarus from the dead. But amazingly, Lazarus has been dead for three days. Now, what do we know about Christ through this? Once again, we know without a doubt that he is God. Only God can restore life, can bring people back to life. But even more than that, we know that what he has told Martha is true. He is the very life the very thing inside of us that will exist beyond death, that that is who he is. He is the eternal part of us and that he has a power over death. Now, Bethany is only a 30 minute walk from the temple in Jerusalem. So there were many people there mourning with Mary and Martha that were from Jerusalem. So you can imagine what happened after this. All of them had seen with their own eyes, Jesus raising a man from the dead, a man that had been in the tomb for three days. So what do you think happened? Well, they probably ran to Jerusalem, told all of their friends, everyone's talking about it. And this explains why when Jesus enters Jerusalem, just a couple days later, everyone is so thrilled. They're laying palm branches on the streets and putting their cloaks out in front of him. This is the man that raised Lazarus from the dead. But do you ever wonder, and we'll talk about this more, why this fact that he's a celebrity for having raised Lazarus from the dead goes so wrong so quickly. Just a couple days later, he's walking down the same streets carrying a cross. 
Well, it has a couple of reasons. First of all, with so many people talking about him, the high priests are very worried. They're worried that he's drawing too much attention to himself, that his followers will get out of control and they start to plot for his death. The second thing is that all of these people are talking about Jesus, but they aren't really talking to him. They don't really know him. They haven't had an encounter. They haven't been transformed. And they don't really have faith in him. It's more so that he's a celebrity or he's interesting, and therefore their hearts are unchanged. But we will talk about all of these things as we get closer to Lent and Holy Week. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to wait and talk about other things than the life of Jesus Christ and save some of these things for during Lent. But for today, my challenge for you is to pray through the intercession of today's Saint, Saint Agatha. As you recall, Saint Agatha was an early Christian martyr. She refused to deny Jesus Christ because she knew what Christ was speaking about here. Christ is the life. If we live in him, we will not die. So pray through the intercession of St. Agatha for all of those persecuted for their faith this day. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing, with Lent approaching, I would like you to join the thousands of families that will be using our Lenten devotional, The Jesus Tree This Lent. We have one based on the Gospel of Matthew and a new one based on the Gospel of John. This is my favorite Lenten devotional to do with my family, requires zero prep, and is a truly beautiful scripture-based way to journey with Christ all the way to the cross. To grab your copy, just check out the notes for this podcast episode. Thank you.